What's going on guys? Uh, I thought I'd give you an update on my case. Uh, it's going well, it's going well. I was meant to have the trial today, tomorrow and Thursday, three day trial. I'm appealing a sentence of disturbing religious worship for going into an alleged gay church. Um, the church isn't registered or recognised as a religious denomination in Australia. The person allegedly officiating is not a minister of religion. Uh, she's just registered as a civil celebrant. Their church is registered as a business. They receive money from the government uh, for religious acts, which is unlawful. Um, there's nothing about this this alleged church that makes it a, a, a religious organisation or that they can perform a lawful worship. Um, the church was located on the property of another church, which actually is a recognised denomination, but they have their own bylaws and um, etc. That's a whole other issue. But today we had just a, a hearing to basically say that there's no judges available, we're going to have to adjourn, and also to address my submission. Now, I had a submission on law, multiple arguments, multiple, um, but I did have a bit of a conversation with, I'll get, to, I'll get to this now probably, I did have a bit of a, a negotiation with the prosecution. Now, I said if they were willing to concede some things and give me a very light sentence, I said two weeks, and concede some things within the uh, within the case, they come back and said no, two months. If you don't know, I received pretty much a maximum sentence. I've got 10 weeks, the maximum sentence is 12 weeks. Uh, so I'm really not losing anything by appeal in this case. But there was one victory or a couple of victories today in, in the hearing. One, I've been allowed time to uh, put a submission into the High Court of Australia in Canberra on a... Uh, an argument that the law itself, disturbing religious worship of S21 and the Summary Offences Act, is invalid and inconsistent with the Constitution, especially with Section 116 of the Constitution. Uh, I won't get into too much of that. I've done videos on that before. Uh, so I've been allowed to do that. Second thing that was amazing is the magistrate who convicted me originally in the magistrate's court was incorrect. She convicted me. Uh, based on the Scientology case, uh, the Church of the New Faith versus the government. Uh, it was a case back in 1982, 88, I forget the exact year, which basically outlined what a religion is for tax purposes, so they can receive tax exemptions without being a recognised denomination in Australia. That's the High Court case that they used to convict me. Uh, the judge who heard my case today basically said... I can't quote him, but he basically said um, that was incorrect. Uh, so it's already a victory. That The definition of what a religion is for tax purposes in the Scientology case, which I've been telling you this whole time was incorrect, was incorrect. They need to um, address the act of religious worship or lawfully assembled for religious worship. Um, they need to address that, what that is, what that entails, and then they can convict me. So it doesn't mean I'm going to be found not guilty, but I was basically convicted on the wrong... Uh, law, um, which is my solid argument since the beginning. So the judge in this case, because they're busy, I get what they're doing, yeah? They're busy. Um, he said I could probably go for an indication hearing. Uh, because they're busy, we, we get very light sentences um, to kind of save up court space. Basically saying, if you plead guilty, just cop it. We'll give you basically nothing. Um, it's basically what they say, and I said, nah, I'm going to take it all the way. Uh, they're pretty pissed off. Um, I don't mind doing the prison, you know, three months maximum. It's not a big issue. Um, I'm probably not going to get the same sentence. The sentence was massively extreme, but I'm going to fight it. I'm not going to let them win. If they want to drop the case, which I don't think they can at this point because I'm convicted, but maybe they can. If they want to drop it, they can drop it, but I'm not going to plead guilty to help the court out or the prosecution when they put me in this situation. This has been going on for about three years. So, yeah. So I'm going to go back to court on the 22nd of this month. Um, I'm going to have a submission prepared for the High Court of Australia. And I've also got to do some subpoenas, which the judge indicated. He's, he's quite a good judge. He's the head judge of the criminal section of uh, the county court. Judge Mully. Uh, so he was pretty fair. But at the end, he wasn't too happy that I, I wouldn't uh, plead guilty and kind of save him some time, some effort. But hey, you want to take me to court, mate? That's how it's going to be. So I'll put me lawful submission in to the High Court of Australia, and who knows? The Senator Slayer might be defending himself, self-represented, in the High Court of Australia. May lose, may win, but it'll be, it'll be uh, um, an endeavour at the very least. 
All right, God save the Queen, and uh, yeah, rise without fear. Catch us.